This one has a great melody, an alternating bass line, and that classic Johnny Cash boom chicka sound. This is I Walk the Line. Welcome back to Relax and Learn Guitar. I'm Kevin and this is Maggie May. We're getting our YouTube treats out of the way. My wife Vicky's behind the camera. Hello. And we're going to get started on this Johnny Cash lesson. Be sure and put a capo onto your first fret to play along with the record, which I highly recommend. Now this one is kind of a fast song, so as always, play it as slow as you need to to get used to it and work up your tempo. We've got uh, all open chords in this one. We have an E chord. We have a B7 chord. We have an A chord. I'm going to play that A chord with just my index finger, barring all three of those strings on fret two, strings four, three, and two. We have a D and a G. So before we get into those chords, we're going to learn this very cool opening melody here. And it's all uh, mostly taking place on strings six and five, a little bit of four. And it's a, it's a pattern that you can learn. It's actually going to help us later on in the song too, because Johnny uses some walk ups and walk downs with these same notes. So the, uh, the main kind of uh, phrase in this is this. We're starting here on the sixth string and we're going to do an open, then two, then four, then open on the fifth, then open on the sixth, and back to open on the fifth. So. Now the second part of it, we're going to repeat that same pattern and we're going to do that on strings five and four. So we get this. And now we're going to go back down. So this song, um, it's really amazing what Johnny does here. He actually changes keys in the song several times using some walk ups, walk downs, and you're going to hear him humming. If you listen to the record, he's kind of humming to get the right key because the verses are all in different keys. Amazing stuff. But anyway, for this, uh, this melody here, now we're going to walk back down. So it's the same kind of uh, general shape or uh, line, but we're going to do open on the fourth. 4th fret on the 5th string, 2nd fret on the 5th string, open 5th string, open 6th string, open 5th string. And then we're going to repeat that same thing, but now we're going to do that on the 5th and 6th string. So we're going down even further, so we have open on the 5th, 4th on the 6th, 2nd on the 6th, open 6th, 2nd fret on the 5th, back to open on the 6th. So all together from the top here we have Okay, and now we have one change here that is uh, different than the rest of this melody. You have an open, it's going to go like this. So we're going to have an open 6th string. 2nd fret 6th string, back to open 6th string, then a 2nd fret on the 5th string, 2nd fret on the 6th string, and then we have the same walk down phrase. So we have 5th string 2nd fret, 5th string open fret, 6th string 4th, 6th string 2nd, open. So I'll play that from the top so you can hear how it sounds all together and you can follow along with the tablature. So we have uh, starting from the very beginning. get into a little boom chicka which is the uh, basis and the most fun part of this song if you are enjoying this lesson be sure and hit that subscribe button and come back often for more songs that you can learn how to play
So for this classic country rhythm, uh, you'll hear it called Boom Chicka a lot, which I just think is hilarious of, we just uh, call it how it sounds, Boom Chicka, Boom Chicka. So it's that, I just call it that Johnny Cash sound, a little bit like a train rolling. I love that sound. It's great. It never gets old. So the Boom Chicka is broken. We're going to break that down into three things, the boom, the chick, and the uh. <laughs> All right? So the boom is the bass note. And we're going to be altering these bass notes. Uh, we'll get to that in a bit. But for uh, the beginners out there, let's just kind of get this piece down first. We're going to do this E chord. Because that's after that little melody, we start on that E chord. The boom is the bass. The base or root of the E chord is the sixth string. We're going to be palm muting. Uh, you don't have to, I just think it sounds better. So you're going to use the fat part of your palm here. You're going to rest that directly on top of your strings back by your bridge of your guitar. Now you'll have to play around a little bit. The further you move your, your hand up, your palm up toward the sound hole, no good. You want to have a sweet spot where you've got you know, the, uh, the, the note ringing out enough to tell what it is, but it's just muted. Hence, palm mute. <laughs> so for this E, we're going to do boom on the sixth string. The chick is a down strum. Boom, chick. Boom, chick. Boom, chick. Boom, chick. And the uh is an up strum. Boom, chicka. Boom, chicka. Boom, chicka. Boom, chicka. Boom, chicka. Just get used to doing that and uh, annoy your friends and neighbors. What's it sound like without palm muting? Uh, this. Boom. So you have. That still sounds good. Yeah, it's, it's fine to do that. I just yeah. think it sounds more classic and more like the record with this. So just remember, boom is the bass, chick is the down, and uh is the up. Okay. Now for these chords, we're going to alternate the bass notes. So the boom is going to be alternating. For this E chord, we're going to alternate the 6th string and the 5th string. So we have 6 down up, 5 down up. Just alternate that. The first verse is an E. And then we're going to play the B7 chord. <laughs> Make sure we get that Maybe one. Maybe you will. <laughs> Maybe we'll play the B7 chord. All right. So for this B7 chord, uh, especially if you're palm muting, the good part about that is you don't really have to worry about that high E string. I mean, oftentimes I don't even fret that high E string on this song because the core of it's happening here on these bass notes, strings 6, 5, and... Uh, some of four, a little bit of three. So for this B, it's a little different. We're gonna be alternating the fifth and the sixth. Now, the sixth string, we're gonna be lifting up our middle finger off the B7 shape and putting it onto the sixth string, second fret. So your middle finger is gonna be going fifth string, second fret, sixth string, second fret, back and forth. This is a really common thing to learn for country music. So you have five, four, or five, six, five, six. Bass down up, bass down up, boom, chicka, boom, chicka. All right, that's the E and the B7. And the third chord in the first verse is an A chord. And I play that almost all the time, especially in this song. I just use my index and bar those all on the second fret. Again, not worrying about this high E string. And the A chord, you're going to be alternating the 5th and the 6th. So you have 5 down up, 6 down up, bass down up, bass down up, boom, chicka, boom, chicka. So after we finish up that melody, I'll play this first verse for you and sing it so you can kind of see what you're going for. So we'll just do the end of that uh, melody line. And now we're on that E chord, alternating the 6 and the 5. You're going to hear Johnny do this. Mm -hmm. He's humming to get the key right. So after that E, we go to the B7. I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. 
I keep the ends out for the tie that binds Because you're mine, I walk the line So the pattern for the first verse is we're alternating the B7 with that little middle finger move the B and the E B E then it goes to A one time A back to E and then B7 E and now you're gonna see this this kind of recurring line here that we also use in that intro melody we're gonna do an open sixth string then second fret sixth string then fourth fret sixth string open fifth string so yeah, that's the walk up we're gonna be walking up from the key of E here up to A open two four open and that A remember alternates the five and the six Boom chicka boom chicka. So after that walk up, we uh, start on that A, alternating the fifth and sixth strings. This is gonna be a very similar pattern. We're gonna be moving, uh-oh, notification, bad weather coming. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully everything works out. Um, so we're gonna be uh, playing that A chord. You're gonna hear him hum again. To get the key right and now we're going to be doing a very similar thing we're going to be using the uh, E A E A D and that one's a little different D alternates the fourth string and the fifth string and when I'm saying these chords, the strum pattern for each of these chords, they get two of the strum patterns. So you alternate the bass line twice. Okay? So this D goes from four to five. Back to the A. E. A. And then another walk up, same exact uh, shape. Now we're just walking up and we're gonna go from the fifth to the fourth string. So we're gonna have open fifth string, second fret, fourth fret, open fourth string. And this is gonna walk us up to the key of D. So we've walked up to the third verse, which is in the key of D. Mm -hmm. Hum a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna alternate an A. The D, A, D. The only time we're going to play the G here, and that alternates the six and the four. So bass down up, bass down up, six down up, four down up, boom chicka, boom chicka. To D, A. D. And now we're walking down. We walked up, now we're walking back down. So we're going to go open on the fourth string, fourth fret, fifth string, second fret, fifth string, open fifth string, and we're back to A. So the third verse is the one that goes, uh, as sure, let me get the, uh, <laughs> let me make sure I got the. As sure as night is dark and day is light I keep you on my mind both day and night And happiness I've known proves that I'm right Because you're mine, I walk the line So we've walked down from the D to the A, a key of A we're on the A chord now. So the fourth verse is the same as the second verse. We're going to just do that A, E, A, E, A, 
D A E A Walk down to E Now we're going back down to the key of E which is the fifth verse same as the first verse and again it's that same uh, just kind of remember that pattern we're going to be walking down from the a deck down to the e it's just an open fifth string then sixth string fourth fret sixth string second fret open sixth string so that's a little bit of our deep dive into the man in black johnny cash i walk the line such a great one so many good things in here that will help you with lots of other songs be sure and check out a little Ring of Fire next, another good one from Johnny Cash. Remember that Vicky, Maggie, and I very much appreciate your views and your support and your comments here on YouTube. And until next time, another thing to remember is that you're never too old to learn. See you next time.